ladies and gentlemen, our next competition of the evening, a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu match. Our first competitor making his way to the red corner, a Josh Bobby. And his opponent, making his way to the blue corner, Lloyd, the Yorkshire Gripper Cooper! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let me to this bout. It's a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu competition, a super match, held over 15 minutes. Submission only. So you are looking for a submission winner. If there's no submission, it will be a draw. Introducing to you, on my right, age 23, then 6 feet 2 inches tall, representing ABT, Josh Molly. And across the cage in the blue corner, 27 years of age, stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, fighting out of Factory BJJ, Floyd, the Yorkshire Gripper, Kuba! So Brazilian Jiu Jitsu match, submission only, 15 minutes. So no striking, all you're going to see is submission wrestling and uh, submission techniques. Using the gi, you can use the gi to submit your opponent. Lloyd Cooper opting to pull guard there. You see that a lot in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. And Lloyd Cooper, the brown belt, the higher grade opponent, taking on a blue belt. You've got to give it to Josh Morby, stepping up to compete against the brown belt. And so far, we've got Lloyd Cooper working a little bit of spider guard. Josh Morby needs to free those grips on his sleeves. So a lot of jiu-jitsu is about grips. You, you get control of your opponent by gripping onto his sleeves, holding onto his lapels, onto the sleeve leg, etc. And often make a technical fight. And so far, Josh struggling to gain a decent position. He needs to look to pass guard. It looks as though he might have done that. But this is brown and black belt rules. So that means there are a lot more openings for leg locks which Lloyd Cooper will be used to, but unfortunately Josh Morby may not be as familiar with, as they're typically not used at blue belt level. And Josh doing a good job so far as keeping himself in a position of strength. Opted to drop to his knees, and then when passing spider guard, and those long guards, it's actually quite good to get to your knees, try and pass them low. Oh, triangle attack from Lloyd Cooper. Didn't manage to sink it, and Morby's used that to try and pass guard. <sighs> Cooper too smart for that. Morby trying it again, Cooper opting to roll into turtle position. And back against the cage. Yeah. Morby putting the pressure on there. Well, Cooper in control of this so far. Neither fighter really attacking yet for the submissions. We've just seen Lloyd Cooper's Triangle attempt, but it was easily defended by Josh Morby. Morby, the heavier fighter here as well. Be interesting to see how the crowd 
warm to this fighting style in a cage. You don't see jiu-jitsu in a cage very often. I don't know whether you've ever seen jiu-jitsu in a cage, to be honest. Wood, Wood Cooper. Nice, nice sweep. And you see how Josh Morby's guard works. Half guard position. Josh looking for that collar. Cooper swapping straight into the armbar, it's tight and it's done. Welcome to the game. Oh, come on, out of that. 